at the end of the day, um, I I, I want to talk about the next topic, right? As I write this down. Um, so if you didn't see it already, right? Devontae Adams was on Max Crosby's podcast, right? Talking about, you know, Luke Getze and just talking about the season in general. Um, for me, right, I saw he has a lot of belief in Luke Getze. He does. He has a lot of belief in Luke Getze. When you look at Devontae speak about, you know, his former office coordinator and now current he has a lot of belief in that system. Now, I want to ask you guys here, right? Do you have Luke Getzey belief? Because, honestly, that's the most important question we can ask ourselves, right? That's the most important question we can fucking ask ourselves. And why is that? Because we look at all the talent that's been acquired, right? We just went over that draft class. We know about last year's draft class. A lot of players from last year's draft class that we're assuming are going to make that year two leap. Even guys that are coming up on contracts. But at the end of the day, I think, especially since we don't have that quarterback that can, how do I say this? We don't have a quarterback right now that I think if a play call is fucked up, if a, if a play goes awry, that he can bail us out and be that difference maker right now everybody's gonna point to Mahomes but there's multiple quarterbacks in the leagues where you can tell if a play breaks down don't trip I got it right might be able to get on out of there a little bit right run for run for five ten yards slide down might be able to just escape move create an angle so I can go ahead and throw that we don't have that quarterback that can bail out a play caller so our play caller has to be on point he has to be on point and in order for us to achieve what we want to achieve on offense, Luke Getzey going to have to be the most dialed in motherfucker on planet Earth, right? He has to be the most dialed in person on planet Earth because with all this weaponry, there is no fucking excuse if this team cannot score over, what the fuck was it last year, 17 points? Come on, bro. Come on now. Come on now. If this offense can't put up over 17 fucking points, we have a huge fucking problem. A huge problem, right? You got to start pointing fingers now. You got to start looking around now. Because now it's like, who hired this motherfucker? What's the real fundamental issues, bro? Are Are the players just not as good as we thought, right? And I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case at all. But there's no fucking reason why we shouldn't be scoring over 17 points this upcoming season. I don't I I, I can't envision a world where we don't, right? So he's the most important person on this offense to me is Luke Getzey. Most important person. He has to I, fuck with I mean, I get it, Gardner, Aiden, but that's where we're at right now. And we're gonna talk about that right now, but that's where we're at, right? So With those two, would you say that they are, you know, if a play breaks down, they're going to exceed expectations and fuck around and make everybody else better? No, I wouldn't say either of those dudes are the type of quarterbacks to make somebody else better, right? I feel like they can be cool, but as of right now, they're not going to make the team better. They're going to manage the team, right, and manage us in a good way, but they're not going to fucking make everybody. So at the end of the day, the play caller is going to have to put him in good situations. That's where I'm at, right? That's where I'm at. I think, I th- do I have belief, though? So I have to answer my own question. Do I have belief? I'm f- I am I have to. There's no other choice, right? There's no other choice. We can all take Chicago and say something, but then we can take his stints with Green Bay and say, well, this is what it's supposed to look like when he had Devontae and all those guys in Green Bay. So if that's what it's supposed to look like, there's no other choice. We have to have faith because if he's not good, we're fucked. We're fu- we're fucked. I'm just I'm just I'm just letting it be known, bro. If Gessie is not good, we're fucked. And, and I don't I don't even want to put that in the air. But that's the sense I'm getting, bro. But y'all let me know down below, man. How do you feel about you know Luke Getzey? 
and and this system because I mean we talked about it, right? But I think you know what's crazy. And y'all let me know if y'all feel the same way, right? I feel like I'm talking to the homie right now, but right. Y'all let me know if y'all feel the same way, bro. I think we talked about Luke Getzey, but then a lot of us fucking swept it under the rug because we thought we was going to get a fucking, like, uh, a superstar quarterback. You know, like, a lot of us were like, okay, we got Luke Getzey, but if we get, like, we're going to fuck around and get Jaden Daniels. You know what I mean? So it's like, well, shit, he'll be able to bail us out or whatever the fuck. We're going to get a superstar motherfucker. So now that the dust has settled, and now we're like, well, shit, now <laughs> we really got to... This motherfucker has an important job. Now I think we have to really fucking put it all into perspective now. I think we got to put everything into perspective as far as, like, what he can do, right? And, and what he can make this offense. Because I there's too much talent. Too much talent in order for us to not be good and score over our point total last year. If we do that, bro, you're going to see a lot of cussing on this motherfucking channel, bro. A lot of copyright strikes on this bitch coming this fall, bro. If we can't score, if we can't score over 17 points, it's going to be a lot of fucking copyright strikes on here, bro. And I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I, 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 I will forfeit whatever sense to cuss a motherfucker out if we doing all that. I don't, I don't care. But... Let me see what y'all talking about right here as far as the chat, man. Rebel, he says, with Getsy scheme and zone blocking, this season is going to be fire. Okay. Okay. And like I said, right, it's easy to point to the Chicago stint. But, right, at the same time, we could point at the Green Bay stint and say, hey, you feel me? This is what it looks like when the players are in place. And the mind and everything is where it needs to be for this system. This is what it looks like. I mean, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but Devontae said the same thing on Max's podcast yesterday, right? Like he didn't have the players needed to do what he wanted to do. Should be different now. 